So this is what you need for your presentation. First thing you're going to have to do is tell us the quadrilateral number. So if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, then tell us the exact quadrilateral you deduce it to be. Deduce means you have to do something. You have to use um, reasoning to figure out what kind it is. All right? You can't just use patterns. So of the ones that you get to choose from, it won't be all the shapes. It'll be just six of these. So one more time, you're going to pick between six of them. So the six that you have, all right, you're going to figure out if it's a quadrilateral, a parallelogram, a rectangle, square, rhombus, or kite. Those are the six that we're going to deal with. One more time, you're only doing these six. Figure out which one of the six, there's only six of them. You're going to figure out which one of these six you have. Okay? What do I mean by that? So what you were supposed to do was to create two diagonals. Okay? Here are my two diagonals. And then from there, after you did this, this was your first grade, your second grade is going to be um, coming up with the three reasons. So after you have the diagonals, and you're going to connect them to make your quadrilateral. Okay? It has four sides. That's why I know it's a quadrilateral. So from there, okay, you have to figure out what kind it is. So in the quadrilateral, right, it's 2D straight closed four sides. That's what it is, right? 2D straight closed four sides. Now you're going to have to be able to prove that. So we're going to see does it have any of the other things? Okay? Because you can see it has four sides. One, two, three, four, right? It's 2D, it's closed, uh, it's straight. But let me check this one. So I need you to write this down. Parallel. Here's how you check to see if they have parallel sides. Here's how to check if they have parallel sides. So please write this down. Please write this down. Here's how to check if they are, have parallel sides, opposite sides. Okay? Here's how to check that. They have the same slope. The segments have... Segments have the same slope. So if they have the same slope, then they are parallel. One more time, they have the same slope. That is if they are parallel. So let me show you how to do that on here. So you're going to go to measure. Hmm. It should be part of it, but I don't see it. So I'm going to click on more. And then I'm going to go to measure. And right there. So one more time. You have to click on more. There was a more button there. You have to click on more. And then you have to click here, and that measures the slope. Do you see that, Arnaldo? It even says slope right underneath it. So click on that. And then it says select a line. So I'm going to select this. Here's the slope. Slope is zero. Click on this one here. Slope is zero. So what does that tell you about these two? Those are the same. They're parallel. What about this one? This was 9.5. This one right here. Um, let me zoom on, I guess, because I can't see it. I still can't see it. So I'm going to click on this one. And the slope. Oh my goodness. What in the world? This slope is crazy. It's negative 232. So, do you have two pairs of opposite parallel sides? No. No, you do not. You do not have two pairs of opposite sides. One more time, you don't have that. Unless both of pairs are the same slope, then you know, listen very carefully, you know it's not any of these. Do you see that? You, if it doesn't have two pairs of opposite and congruent parallel sides, you know it's not any of them, these three, okay? So then it could only be what's left over. Do you see how you're going to be able to check? Now, next thing you want to do to check if they're congruent, like it says here, here's how you check if they're congruent. You go to measure the distance, all right, and you click on each one. Now, these had to be, look, they're not the same size this one and this one they're all different sides do you see that okay 
sides are not congruent. Uh, now, the four right angles, this is the last one I'll show you. Four right angles, to do that, you have to click on measure and then angle. Click up here. Click this one. And it tells you right there the angle is 90.2. If I want to figure out the angle B, it is 86.5. Do you see how you can uh, be able to, from there, okay, well, I know it has one pair, so that would mean it's a trapezoid, okay? Why? Because it has one pair of, of parallel sides, because these two have the same slope. It's both zero. So then my reasons would be this, okay? This is for number three. My reasons that I know it's a trapezoid, I would say if I had quadrilateral, this is probably quadrilateral number seven, Quadrilateral number seven is a trapezoid because, and then you have to get three reasons. So the first reason is because, first of all, it's a polygon. How do I know it's a polygon? Because it's 2D, straight and closed. Second reason, it has four sides. Third reason, it has only one pair oops, of parallel sides. So you're gonna do the same thing for yours. Figure out exactly which one it is. You can use uh, the table to help you figure out which one it is. And then from there, give us three reasons. Now, when you do your presentation, you're gonna tell us this, what I have on the board. You're gonna tell us this. Now, the class is gonna have you prove it. And when you say it has only one pair of parallel sides, the class will say, prove that. How can you prove that? Well, how would you prove it? Because you have the slope. Do you see that? You have the slopes. Okay. One of the things that you want to make sure, um, and I'll help you make sure it's correct, but if you, okay, probably should have done that. If you, um, I kind of wanted to fix this one because it looks, it's kind of messing with me. All right. If you have, um, if you did not do the diagonals right, then the whole thing is messed up. So it's the first thing you want to make sure you do correctly.